We spend so much of our lives caring what other people think about us. And without us knowing it, this could possibly limit us from having the life we want. We are often too afraid of saying what we really think because we don't want to be judged. We stop ourselves from dining outside alone because we don't want other people to think we are weird. In all these cases, we stop expressing ourselves because we care too much about what other people think. And as a result, we stop being ourselves and let our lives be dictated by the opinions of others. Inside each and every one of us, there is a mental judge who constantly filters out the actions that they should and should not do. This mental judge was created early in our childhood when being a helpless little kid requires us to seek love and approval from our elders in order to survive. As we get older, we still carry the same psychological pattern with us in which we are constantly seeking approval from everyone. If you have trouble with shyness, most likely you also have one of these mental judges. Being shy is fundamentally wanting to do something that makes you happy, but you just can't because you believe others will think badly of you because of it. For instance, imagine yourself in a party at a friend's house. Suddenly, your favorite song is being put on, and you feel like dancing to the moment. But you see everyone around you is not in group because of their own inhibitions. So you choose not to do anything because you don't want to stand out too much and be different. But I should clarify, the people around you also have the same mental judges and inhibitions inside them. And perhaps they're also hoping for that one brave person who would step out onto the dance floor first so they could follow along. We have to remember, we all have a similar desire for freedom from our mental judges. It's better to risk looking bad, but take some chances to inspire others to also be themselves. If you have these habits of being too self-conscious, you have to remember that other people's opinions don't matter one bit. Sure, they can talk and gossip about you with their friends behind your back, but usually it's for their own amusement. Often, they like to talk down other people so they can feel better about themselves. You have to realize that some people just don't care about your happiness. They just care about making themselves feel good. When you realize this, you would feel strange and stupid for putting the opinions of someone that doesn't care about you ahead of your own happiness. There is currently a stigma in society that says doing something alone is perceived as selfish and egotistical, which could restrict us from doing what we want to do. This social phenomenon sounds even sillier considering we are putting too much emphasis on the opinions of strangers we never even met or knew. For instance, there is a new movie out in cinema that we feel like watching, but we choose not to because we don't want to be judged going outside alone. This could create in us a social paranoia, in which we believe we have to behave and act in a certain way in order to meet the social requirements of thousands of strangers around us, which is of course utterly impossible. Recognizing the futility of it, it would be wise to abandon all hope of trying to please everybody we meet. One good practice is to start doing something you normally do with other people alone, like taking a walk in the park or climbing a mountain. This will develop self-reliance and reinforce the belief that you don't need anyone to be happy. In the book The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying, written by Bronnie Ware, one of the biggest regrets people have when they are close to death is they wish they had the courage to live more truly to themselves. More often than not, people who are closer to death are more keenly aware of the fact that our time on earth is indeed very short. When a doctor tells you you have a week left to live, you wouldn't get upset about trivial things as much. Like that one time someone calls you stupid, you would realize that the amount of time spent caring about what other people think is the amount of time you have wasted your life. It's certainly more difficult to have this broad overarching view from above when you're so entangled in the hustle and bustle of daily life. But when you're close to death, suddenly every second of your life matters to you and you would be able to better distinguish between what is worth your time and what is not. To illustrate this point, we don't carry our social status or self-image to the afterlife. Thank you for watching.